Good morning, guys. Welcome back. And we are going to do a stitch and chat this morning. I hope everybody is doing well. I am really tired. I don't know why. I um, have been diamond uh, diamond painting. Yeah, okay. I've been uh, cross-stitching like crazy. And um, so, yeah. All right. So, we're going to... I'm going to tell you what I'm doing today besides stitching. So, I did not um, clean the bathroom yesterday. I got um, into this book I was listening to, and um, I didn't get to do that. So, I'm going to clean the bathroom, and I feel like I'm not, I don't have enough light. There we go. Okay, clean the bathroom. I got to do that this morning. And I've already done the dishes, so that's done. Um, and I didn't even unclog the vacuum cleaner yesterday, so we're going to do that. Because i got to vacuum um, the rug here in the, the living room because I've got cat hair like you wouldn't believe. i got to vacuum that living room rug. i got to vacuum uh, the rec my um, couch, recliner couch because there is cat hair everywhere. It's gotten all over my, um, <clears throat> all over my, uh, uh, my cross stitch and it's driving me crazy because I'm having to take my tweezers and constantly like stop every like, I don't know, couple stitches and pull out, um, <laughs> cat hair. Okay, so I don't know why I have that there. Now, um, did want to tell you all before I get started, I've come across, I was sitting here trying to decide what I'm going to do next year for um, my reading planner, and I, um, until I can uh, order my Jane's Agenda, which I probably won't be able to do until um, January after uh, Christmas, I'm going to use my reading planner that I was using. Yeah, so it's just taking me a little bit to remember to do that. So, um, but uh, yeah, it's it's been a while. And I started a new book last night. And before we get started, I'm stitching on Magic Book still. I've taken a vacation from rotation because I'm enjoying this too much. Yes, I know there's a lot of black, and it is what it is, but, um, you know, it it's fine. I don't mind. And um, so I'm having too much fun stitching this one, so I'm going to continue on this until probably Saturday, because that is... Um, the day that me and the kids will probably sit down and watch um, uh, Harry Potter and so forth. I don't know yet. Um, I have to, you know, find out for my daughter what she wants to when she wants to do that. Because usually she is the one that will say, you know, Mom, I want to watch, you know, this and this and this, and. Um, She's been back in her room uh, doing, you know, stuff and trying to clean up in her room. And we just haven't, um, you know, sat down and thought about it yet. And not only that, Justin's working. Justin has to work uh, Christmas Eve and then he's off Christmas Day. So, we have to see. I don't know if Justin will watch Harry Potter with us. I don't last year. I can't remember. Did he watch it a lot with us last year? I don't remember. I have no clue what he did last year. I'm not sure. It's um yeah, I don't remember. It's can't believe me. I can't remember. So, today we are just um I do have to go to the grocery store this afternoon. And then, um, that's really all I need to do because we're expecting some really, really cold temperatures here 
and so I want to go and get um, some stuff uh, we have I have enough um, you know meats and stuff in the freezer but we need snacks and you know stuff to go with it sides and stuff like that and um, so yeah we've got to um, you know go I just got to go around and do that and I've got to go pick up a uh, thing of floss for uh, magic book and or a couple things of floss for magic book just until I can order the cones next month because I got to order another cone of 310 and then I'm going to order a cone of 939 and I'm kind of it's very when you go when I go to look for the cones I'm going to tell you they don't have the DMC number on them and it's very very um maybe it's me I don't know but I'm used to looking uh you know DMC wise and looking for the DMC number so when you're like on Joanne's looking for the cone and the color I have to go into my floss list and look at like you know the color like you know did 939 I have to go and look up what exactly the color 939 is and then go on to Joanne and look and I just wish they put you know the thing on it it would it would be so much easier and I ended up like with I have a cone of 433 what I did was when I got that cone I took a little um, sticker uh, what do you call it and I don't have them up here to show you um, like a little sticker thing where you can write the number on it and that's what I did I wrote the number 434 on it now did it stick no I have I ended up having to put um, like a piece of tape over top of it just so I know because it's hard when you don't know what it, it's annoying but you know it's all good because I um, know what I'm doing and I think what I'm going to end up doing now that I have permanent markers because um, Miranda found a bunch of permanent markers in her bedroom last night so I'm going to take a permanent marker and like inside the the cone I'm gonna put the number of what it is and I also need to get um, a thing to hold the cones like for what they have for like the spools of thread I need to get a couple of those or one of those so that way um, you know I can have it I'm slowly getting organized believe me it's just taking you know it's baby steps and I'm not gonna try to you know do everything overnight because I, I don't I, there's no way there would be no way so other than that um, I started about I finished the silent wife last night and let me tell you something oh my god holy crap that book was like crazy it was really really good um, I will tell you what it's about hold on if I still have it in here um let's see do I still have it on here no well then um I have it on my Goodreads so uh, red let's see okay the Silent Wife. This is um, it's in a series. It's Will Trent series, and oh my gosh, um, this is what it's about: investigating the killing of a prisoner during a riot inside a state penitentiary. GBI investigator Will Trent is confronted with disturbing information. One of the inmates claims that he is innocent of a brutal attack for which he has always been the prime suspect. The man insists that he was framed by a corrupt law enforcement team led by Jeffrey Tolliver and that the real culprit is still out there, a serial killer who has systematically been preying on women across the state for years. If Will reopens the investigation, 
and implicates the dead police officer with a hero's reputation of wrongdoing, the opportunistic convict is willing to provide the information GBI needs about the riot murder. Only days ago, another young woman was viciously murdered in a state park in northern Georgia. Is it a fluke, or could there be a serial killer on the loose? So, yeah, it's very, it's very, you have to pay attention. I had to, um, like, the last, no, it wasn't the last chapter. I was in the, I was listening to it, and there were a couple of chapters that I had to go back and um, re-listen because I was confused, and at one point, I didn't, um, I, I guess I wasn't really paying attention, and I was, it's one of those things where you are, but you aren't, and, you know, I was into my, you know, so engrossed in stitching that I didn't really pay a whole lot of attention to what I was listening to at first in, in you know, a couple of the chapters, and I had to go back and um to read uh re-listen to the chapter because i was confused and so yeah it, it's really good and the next one that i the one the, the other one i started last night is called eight perfect murders by peter swanson it's a new author to me and i think i think now i'm gonna be honest i can't remember if I'm not mistaken, this was on a recommendation from TikTok, and um, I've been trying to find, you know, some really um, good, you know, TikTok people that, um, you know, people on TikTok that, you know, recommend some really, really good books, and that one... I gotta go back. Hold on. I'll tell you what it's about. Um, this way, it's really good. I was, um, I've been, a, I'm all, I'm like 20% through now. Um, this is um, the story of a bookseller who finds himself at the center of an FBI investigation because a very clever killer has started using his list of fiction's most ingenious murders. Years ago, bookseller and mystery, mystery aficionado Malcolm Kershaw compiled a list of the genre's most unsolvable mis murders, those that are the most impossible to crack, which he entitled Eight Perfect Murders, chosen from among the best of the best, including Abatha Christie's ABC Murders, Patricia Highsmith's Strangers on a Train, Ira Levin's Death Trap, a. A. Milne's Red House Mystery, Anthony Ber Berkeley Cox's, Cox's Mal Malice A Forefront, James M. Cain's Double Indemnity, John D. McDonald's The Drowner, and Donna Tartt's A Secret History. But no one is more surprised than Mal, now the owner of the Old Devil's Bookstore in Boston, when an FBI agent comes knocking on his door one snowy day in February. She's looking for the information about a series of unsolved murders that looked eerily, eerily sim similar to the killings on Mal's old list. And the FBI agent is the, isn't the only one interested in this bookseller, who spends almost every night at home reading. The killer is out there watching his every move, a diabolical threat who knows way too much about Mal's personal history, especially the secrets he's never told anyone, even his recently deceased wife. So, yeah, it's, it, at first, I will tell you, I was, when I was listening at first, you know, the FBI um, investigator that, you know, showed up at the door, I was kind of a little concerned because, number one, the FBI wouldn't just show up at the door unless, you know, you are considered a suspect or so forth, and I was like, she thinks that you know he's this person this this suspect but after listening and to it a little bit more she doesn't really think that he is but he's still on the list as being a suspect 
and um, there's a lot of uh, you know backstory in between but I have to say I was really I'm really enjoying it so far it's um, really good and um, like I said he's a new author to me and this this guy you know is really good at the um, the story so and I'm kind of excited I'm going to finish listening to it today and see um, you know I can't wait to see what happens next or can't wait to hear what happens next and um, then I have a couple other ones that I need to um, listen to because I downloaded one from NetGalley yesterday and I um, don't remember what that one's called to be honest um let's see what did I um I don't even know what it's called <laughs> I'll tell you in a minute I can't remember what it's called um Angel Bound this is a fantasy now I'm gonna be honest I don't listen to fantasy much but this sounded really really good so I thought you know what we're gonna we're gonna try this and if I can find any that like that that are really good then yeah I will start listening to it more but um, listening and reading more of it but um, I was it, it sounded like it was a good book so we'll see uh, so that's my plan today I do know I need to start wrapping presents but again like I like I've been saying all week don't know um, how Athena's going to react because she's been um, a little I don't want to I don't I don't know what to say how to put it she's been a little play little uh, hyper playful whatever so we're going to kind of you know uh, keep an ear out usually I don't wrap until Christmas Eve but I kind of, you know, want to put a couple things out and get them all kind of under the tree. So that way, um, yeah, it's one less thing that we have to do. And uh, then, excuse me, that's really, really all I have to do today. And... Uh, besides doing all that stuff but um yeah today's sky's last day of school for the week for christmas vacation and he doesn't go back until um uh yeah he doesn't go back to the second and i am just looking at my camera and for some ungodly reason i feel like i'm not i don't know maybe it's the way i'm sitting okay so um yeah so there's really not much going on today guys we're just i mean it's gonna rain it's supposed to be cold because uh of this big huge storm that's going across everybody and unfortunately everybody else is going to get snow but us we're getting rain so we still it's still going to be like freezing and um so there's really not much that we're going to do today and um i do know i do need to start you know i do need to get up my off my butt and do some christmas um, movies but like i said i'll probably sit and do that probably tomorrow i was gonna do it today but um we'll see because uh um I just need to it all depends on how my daughter feels and I know what my problem is hold on I see what the problem is and just bear with me I'm not trying to be like there we go okay yeah that's better so yeah so um see I told I've lost my train of thought um And that's really, you know, all that we're doing today. I do need to, um, 
I, one of the things that I've learned or that we've that I've started doing even when I lived at home we after Christmas we kind of clean up and organize everything so next week is going to be like crazy um busy because uh well not busy busy but we're going to be organizing stuff around here and trying to go through things and make sure everything is kind of um you know where it needs to be uh, all that good junk and um yeah so it's gonna be you know um kind of one of those things so yeah <clears throat> so let's see um i'm thinking guys whoops um i guess i need to start writing down what happens during the day each day so that I can tell y'all in the morning <laughs> and I didn't really think about it but I guess I should do that <clears throat> mm. um, I've been making really good progress on this I'm, I've been doing it because it's because this is mostly all black and like right in here is 939 and down here is um, you know different shades of blue and stuff I've been making really a really good den I've been ma a stitching at least um, between a thousand to uh, 1200 stitches that's tent stitches um, now when you divide it in half it's like you know 500 to 600 stitches which is pretty good and last night I could have probably d did more but my poor arm when I was done, when I, about seven o'clock, my poor arm, it was just like going to the point it was numb. And I know everybody's like, well, put on a, put a heating pad, ice pack. I, I probably could have, but, um, I was just to the point where I was like, yeah, it's time for me to stop. So today, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to try to make a really good dent I want to I want to try to get this page done I mean it's all you know 310 on this the rest of the page so we're gonna see we will see how far I get and I've been go doing it in columns and instead of rows because I don't know why I think I wanted to be different when I did this one because I'm already doing the checkerboard you know I'm gonna do this one and then I'm going to go up and do the next. Yeah, it's going to be a checkerboard effect for the first, like, two rows. So, which um, everybody, we, of course, and I get a lot of, I get a lot of criticism. I don't think it's criticism, but a lot of people are like, why are you doing it that way? And I know they're just being curious, but it's, um, I, when you do when you do full coverage charts like I do all the time I you get bored doing it a certain way um, you know the top left going across the row or um, going you know doing each page column or you know I just wanted to be different so we're gonna try this and see um what happens now it won't be done like this for every single piece but um yeah so i will see it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to see and if i like doing it you know doing different things then yeah i'll switch it up and go from there so um Let's see. Christmas plans. I don't have that many. I mean, I told you guys yesterday in tag questions. I don't have that many plans this um, for the weekend. Except after they open their presents and I open my presents, I'm just going to sit and chill and stitch and, you know, let them do their thing. Because usually that's what we do. And, um... 
I, I don't have any plans to do anything else other than sit here and, you know, stitch. Because it's going to be cold. It's very cold. I the, the temperature on Christmas Day is going to be crazy, crazy cold. It's going to be like um 20 degrees outside. And I knew it was going to hit. Sorry, I need a coffee. I knew it was coming. And I really thought we were going to get snow with it. But we'll see. I doubt it very seriously. They're saying no. So, you know, I don't know. But, yeah, it's supposed to be cold starting uh, today and tomorrow all the way into, um, I guess, it's going to be that way from now on. Who knows? Um, also, I am getting ready to make a bishkornu. And I have the pattern, but I forgot how to sew by hand. So, if anybody knows any video tutorials, um, you know, a good person on YouTube that does that, please let me know because I really, really want to look it up because once I do the, once I finish it, um, it's going to go, it's going to be like, it's going to be a bitch cornu, but pin cushion, whatever for my, um, for this little thing, for my little ripper. And, um, I want to have a place to put it besides up here or on here. Because, yeah, I was going to do a Christmas one and I thought about it, but, um, I couldn't find a Christmas, uh, you know, a real quick, quick Christmas one to, to do it on. And it was kind of like, yeah. So anybody got any ideas for finishing, um, and for, you know, sewing by hand, please let me know. I think I still have sewing needles somewhere. It's just, I got to find them. If not, I can, you know, it's not a big deal. But, um, yeah, just let me know. I need all the help I can get. And also, over the weekend, I'm going to be starting ornaments. Um, no, I'm not. I'll wait until January to do that. But, um... Never mind on that one then. <laughs> I can't. I'm telling you. I am telling you. I can just like. I'm totally like sitting here telling you what I'm going <laughs> to. And then. So. Uh, mm, I'm trying to think what else is going on because. I know I say that every time because, like I said, I need to start writing that stuff down and remembering things because if I don't, you guys are going to sit here and go, she's always saying that because, yeah, my brain is not totally with it anymore. It gets that way. So, um, that is all. I have to share this morning um, I hope everybody has a great day and reminder that Saturday starting Saturday all the way till no tomorrow no Saturday and Sunday I will not have morning videos I they will start back up on Monday also, Zooms will not start until the new year. I will ha they will start the 14th. And reason being is because little dude's um, school, um, he goes back to school that the first week of January. So I kind of need to get him back into the routine and kind of need to get myself kind of, um, you know, situated again and so forth. But... Those are just the, the reminders and so forth. But I hope everybody has a great day. And I will see everybody next time. And stay warm. Stay safe. Have a good day, guys.